All right, you guys. So I'm back. It has been a long day three. Like, seriously. So as you can see, the edges are completely hot glued down. I had to go and get some more hot glue. Oh, my goodness gracious. But I have, like, 100 pack now. And so that's really good. All right, so as you guys can see, I did work on the foundation for the treasure chest for the top of it. So as you guys know, I'm a mermaid, woo! And I have to be able to put my things into something. And it's normally mermaids like to put their little findings into a treasure chest. So this is getting so heavy because of all the layers. But because I'm working on the top of this right now, I think what I'm gonna do is just only have my the top of the treasure chest up here for now. So I can show you guys how I'm doing the layers on this. So bring my camera down and show you guys how I'm gonna start doing the layers. So this is the treasure chest top portion. Don't worry about it being uneven. Like you are going to be painting and um, there's so many layers to this. There's like this paper mache part. I don't know what it's called. Paper something. Paper and glue and water and all this other nonsense. So let's finish up our layering of this top. I've already cut these out. Just gonna add this layer. My hot glue gun should be about ready. So let's go ahead and get these glued down. Yeah, the worst feeling is when you start running out of hot glue. It's just like, no way. This is not happening right now. But that's why you go run to the store and grab some more. So that's what I did. And see, the more that you layer, the more that um, your treasure chest just becomes so much more stable as you're doing this. I love it. I love it. Let's grab some more glue. The glue goes so fast. I may as well just keep all of this entire bag of glue sticks up here. Let's go that little bit in there. Let's put some music on. Let's put on a little bit of music while we're on the top treasure chest. So it's not real music, as you guys know. Mermaids love water. So I'm putting on a little bit of rainforest right now. It's definitely keeping me calm. This is my very first time building my own treasure chest that I didn't have to buy in a store. Treasure chests can be like up to like, I say up to $100. They probably start at like $50 depending on where you go. But they can be expensive and who wouldn't want to make their own treasure chest? That's what a real mermaid would do, right? She wouldn't just go buy it. She finds everything. Mermaids find everything. So she probably either would find a treasure chest at the bottom of the ocean, that's what I would do, right, while I'm swimming, or, or, find 
or make a treasure chest. So either find one at the bottom of the ocean or make your own. So that is where we are right now, is making our own. actual cardboard box and had my tape on them from the moon and I couldn't get all of them off or I would have ruined all of the cardboard. So I have to keep going back over it with the glue. What I did found find that helped though is when you do have parts like that and you just take some of the masking tape just take some masking tape and go over the tape with it, the uh, clear packing tape. Go over it with masking tape and that actually stopped it from the hot glue not being able to adhere. So then the hot glue was able to adhere to the masking tape and the masking tape was adhering to the clear tape. So, you just created this barrier. See? The more DIY you do, the more things you figure out on your own. Without having to look up every single thing on other platforms. That's great. You figure it out by yourself. And then people come to you because they know you've already done it before. And they're like, yay, you can help me with whatever, right? So, this treasure tre treasure chest, <laughs> I keep wanting to call it like a box, and it's not a box anymore, because it's a treasure chest now, because I turned it into that, right? It's no longer a box for packing. Nope, no more. you guys have any questions on how I was able to make my own treasure box, make sure that you comment, inbox me, you know, all that good jazz. Some hot glue all over this one. I think it's pretty lined up to where it needs to be. Do it yourself because when you walk into the stores, it's not exactly what you were looking for. So then you can go home and make your own stuff. And always do it yourself. I thought that that was perfectly lined up, but I didn't like where it was sitting. So I'm going to redo it. Really, just get that piece of wood there and use it. Yes. On to the next one, stick. I saw someone do this on another um, social media outlet. I don't like saying other social media outlets, but I saw someone make a treasure treasure chest. On another, so on another social media outlet, and theirs was, um, it was really cool. 
They gave me a lot of inspiration for being able to start mine, that's for sure. But you know what? Theirs was a lot smaller. I have never, ever, 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 ever found anyone that made their own treasure chest box as big as my treasure chest box. This thing is like humongous. And like I said, the more layers that I've been doing, the bigger and bigger it's getting. Like it's just so heavy. I hope this will inspire you guys to make your own treasure box. Treasure chest. So can call it a treasure box. So ridiculous. So all I'm doing right now, I know it's hard for you guys to see probably, but I am merely taking my glue gun and just going along the top of the treasure chest box and hot gluing everything together so that it stays together for the long haul. We want this thing to last after all these days and hours I've put in. This is day three. We want this thing to stay together and not fall apart. I gotta figure out how to weatherproof it just in case there's a flood or something in my house. <laughs> no, there will not be a flood in my house. I will cry. But I do have some ideas of where I'm going to store this so I can protect it. Oh, you guys are going to see. It's going to be so awesome. I love it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I made my own treasure chest. Oh, my gosh. I can't even tell you how many years I've passed by and seeing treasure chest boxes and was like oh i really want to get that you know i really want that like so bad and i have a treasure trust me i have plenty of treasure chest boxes they're just not this big i have smaller ones and they don't look like this they look like with the flat have you guys seen the ones that have the flat um the flat top on them like it's not curved at all, like a real treasure chest. They call them like a chest, but they're not, I don't consider them a treasure chest. There is a big difference between a treasure chest. Look at me, I'm getting so tired. I keep trying to put more, trying to put more glue into the glue gun when it doesn't need it yet. And the blue gun is not accepting it because I'm not out of blue. <laughs> but today is MLK day, so I pretty much get to have like the day off from um, checking emails. So I figured why not work on my DIY project? You know, because we we go and we go and we go and we don't take enough time out to enjoy the finer things like hot glue, scissors, <laughs> hot glue and scissors. Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys. And you better believe it, I am in my comfy clothes. Like, there's, look at all this glue that's on me. You guys just have to excuse all this. Like. Oh my gosh. And it, it will wash right out, but I'm going to be painting pretty soon, so you guys will see me in my painter's clothes. <laughs> I DIY everything. 
because when I walk into the stores, I don't like what they have. It wasn't part of what I thought it was going to look like. And so then I don't want to waste my money or my time buying it because then I end up not using it. You guys know how that is. You buy stuff and then it's not what you really wanted. It's not the color you really wanted. And then what happens? It sits around in your back of your closet. Well, guess what? I don't have any room in my closet. I have no room in my closet for the back of anything. So, everything I have, I need to use it or give it away. Bottom line. Nothing gets to just hang out. No. Okay. Now let's get back to the front. The very front. Here it is. I think it's this one that was giving me all the issues earlier. I think. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. So this is the right way. Because I want to keep it on the sides that I cut these pieces out to so that everything keeps lining up the way it's supposed to. So we have our side, a little side portion. Like I told you, don't worry, we're going to be painting everything. There's no need for you to worry about the cardboard. The cardboard, you're not even going to see it when all this is done. The painting is going to be the most relaxing part. I love painting. I love painting so much. It is so relaxing to me. Pull this down a little bit so you guys can see how I'm lining that up. I'm just lining up my cardboard so that it, um, it covers everything, right? So, all right, so I think that's the right piece. All right, let's get some hot glue in. back up. Look at that. Look at that nice fit. Cut these out so nicely. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys don't even know how excited I am for this project. Building this foundation, though, for the top, oh my gosh, was so not easy. I kept having to restart over because it was so uneven, and I had to, kept, like, uneven differently than what I've been talking about. But it was uneven in the way that, like, nothing was lined up, and it has to at least line up, right? Like, come on. Or you just going to be looking ridiculous. So... Nobody would have done all this work just to come out looking ridiculous. So I was like, are you super serial right now that you don't want to act correctly for me? So you guys see, I'm just still going all the way around, adding, where is this? Oh, I keep dropping. Either keep dropping or it's just literally I'm using that much food. I guess I'm just using that much food. Let's get another one. Thank goodness I bought that pack of 100. 30 wasn't going to do, right? No way. Come in front here so you guys can see. Oh. So 
So at first I tried this with a white Elmer's glue because I saw somebody do a tutorial where they were doing this project with the smaller treasure chest, like I said, and they used like Elmer's glue for some of it. And I was like, hmm, that is not working for me because I think because my treasure chest pieces are a lot bigger than what that person is using. So it was not working out at all, at all, at all, at all. All right, so I'm going to hit these edges right now. I'm trying to keep it on the same side that I already lined it up with with the box so that you guys will see the next step. It's so cool. So, so cool, man. So I'm doing these um, live streams in pieces. So if you guys like, like uh, meaning that I film a little bit and then I take a break or I do another portion and then I come back. So if you guys are really digging it, make sure that you follow me so that you don't miss the next section, right? You don't want to miss the next section. So this is what it's looking like so far. Look how cool that is. This is the layering of the top of the treasure chest and the side that hasn't been done yet. You see? It needs, a, it needs a part. So let's go get the other part. So how do you keep your strength and energy up when you are um, doing so much? Yeah, wow. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. Starburst candies, <laughs> um, a little bit of apple juice, drinking some tea, like all these things, like taking breaks and like watching your favorite TV show with your husband. Yeah, woo! -hoo. You have to take breaks, you have to come back. Because then you come back with like fresh eyes and come back feeling like, all right, let's do this. Let's do it. So that's where I am right now. We took a break. We had to go to the store. We had to get more hot glue. And it's been so fun so far. I really love this project so much. Right now I'm working on the top portion of the treasure chest for anybody that is curious about what portion are we on right now. <laughs> this is the top. See, there it is when it starts sliding again. Like, I don't understand. It's like it does that and I already put on all that glue for nothing. It only does it sometimes. It just doesn't happen all, like, every single, like, a lot, you know? But when it does... Oh. <laughs> so, my plug is always going... Oh, my gosh, you guys, look. So, it's because it's unplugged. Like, oh, my goodness. All right, so you just plug it back in. All right, on that note, I'm getting some more tea. <laughs> And I'm like, why is it coming, like, why in the world is it coming back undone? All right, I'm getting some tea while that comes back up. Oh, my goodness, gracious. That happened, like, twice now today. I wish that whenever it was unplugged, the glue just wouldn't come out the window. But no, that's not the case. All right, we're back at it. It should be heated up now. All right, it heats up so fast, right? 
We can do like that too and just heat up the part that you already have. Just take it and like heat it back up. Did you guys see that? All right, it should go on now. See? We just have to walk away, get some more tea, drink some tea. There's no need to stress out. Okay. Perfect. I was like, why does it do that sometimes? Okay. Let's put another glue stick on standby just in case we use it. Perfect. And just keep going along these edges. Right? Hold on. You're going to need to flip it. Let's put that there. You gotta be careful. It's very, it's very delicate right now. It's in its delicate stages of being made. You gotta be very, very careful. Get these sides. I see these sides trying to hide. Trying to hide from the blue gun? I don't think so. We will find you. I get glue done in like, I get glue, <laughs> I get glue done. I get glue on my fingers all the time, who cares, just shake it off, see, I got like a bunch that time, okay. a bunch, if you guys can see that, don't mind my fingernails, I'm in DIY mode, so wearing nail polish, it, it's just going to chip off. So there's no point of you taking the time to even do your nails when you're dealing with glue gun. Glue guns, dealing with paint. There's no point. I mean, I'm sure people can people do it, but it's like they're not doing serious DIY like me. I mean, come on. <laughs> they're just out there looking cute. Not to say that I don't look cute, but I'm in very serious mode. Very serious mode when I do my DIY. I don't play around. <laughs> I don't play around. Do you guys have any questions? Any questions? Any questions at all? Let me know. Flip this back over. We're still working on the top. Obviously, you can't just leave it open like that, right? That would be crazy. So, let's get this thing even. Let's get everything even. Okay. Now, what's next? We have. Let me just check this really fast, you guys, to see if I need another layer in the front. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, yes, I do. So before I put the top, the top portion on, I looks like I am going to need one more layer of the um, of the box. 
But this is one of my thick layers too. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. get it prepared. Okay. So let's flip this. Oh, no, that one's perfect. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to hot glue it on here. Like the whole thing because it's like a thicker it's a much thicker piece than the pieces that I've been um, working with. So we're going to have to hot glue the entire thing to the box. All right, so let's get started. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Lay that down for now. All right. Here we go. Make sure that you come on slide. You do not want to waste all this food. trying to make its way into oh y'all yeah, it's really trying not to sit really right now really all right let's get to this other side Okay. I am exhausted. I am exhausted. I'm so tired. But I must keep going because I have other things 
other plans that I want to get done with this treasure box. Wow, none of that's glued itself. So we're going to just try this again and make sure this thing is still plugged in. This side is still not very good. What's wrong with this side? What's going on here? Oh man. So this side is down, and this side is not going down at all. It's really, really weird, you guys. So that time it worked. Hmm, I think it worked. Alright. Let's see how the top is um is fitting. Like how the very top will fit. Let's see, let's do a little practice. Where are the tops? Here we go. Debating if I want to go with that. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? That would be kind of cool. You just kind of have a not winning that green. And then I'd only have one layer, so that would be kind of a problem. I'd only have like one layer to my top, whereas this way I would have two layers to the top, right? Hmm. Decisions, decisions.
Actually, I can just do here and then that's what I want to do. I'm going to do here, right? Get all that squared away, all that jazz. All right, so it still leaves the issue. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to tape this down and then just cut a wall on the side. Yeah, that's a perfect idea. That way, I get to leave it all on here. And I don't have to worry about this. Turn the hot wig on off. Where is the tape? Here it is. All right, so we're going to take the tape. We already measured it to where we wanted everything to go. And remember, this is layers. So it's okay that I'm putting some tape. Just put on one layer and think, oh, 
That looks nice. Nope. You have to keep going with it. And keep going with it. Okay, I think I'm at the point where I can flip this over. I'm going to flip it. Later on, I'll flip it back. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. Okay, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. side part where it's not cut yet is being like super crazy and weird so what I'm going to do since it's trying to be like that and I don't want it to be like that I'll cut it in just a bit but what I'm going to do right now it's just put a little bit of masking tape in there just to try to, it's a foundation piece, so I can do that. But just to try to like keep it together a little bit more, I'm going to put some masking. Go ahead and add a little bit of masking tape in there. Oh yeah. See, it's already staying a lot better. Look at that. Masking tape is so cool. I haven't used masking tape in like forever. Forever! It's like masking tape. So much better than packing tape for a project like this. I'm going to use packing tape. I wish that my niece was here to see this project because she she would love this. She would truly love all of this. Like, all of it. <laughs> because I'm building it myself. Putting in the work, putting in the hours. I can paint it whatever color I choose to in the end. And I haven't really decided. Like, I might go traditional and just do like black and brown. I may decide to do um, red because red's my favorite color. But I do have that one um, treasure chest that's right now at my mom's house in Houston. And it's red and gold. And those are my two favorite colors. But since I already have that color, and one day I do plan on getting my treasure chest back from mom's house. Um, since I already have that color, I, I may just want to do like the traditional black and brown with gold accents. Ooh, that would be beautiful. Like bronze accents would be cute. Be nice. But that's to be determined. So I don't need you focus on that as much right now as I do. Getting the whole entire box done, right? 
just make filters right now. Painting is at the end, the very, very, very end. We're almost done with laying down the masking tape in here. There's this other part that's coming up pretty soon, too. I can't wait to show you guys that part of the treasure chest box making. I could go ahead and do this down, actually, if I'm really thinking about it. Yeah, let me fire up my glue gun. I think I'm going to actually glue that down. Is it another tea break, you guys? I think so. Mm, some more tea. So because I had to add this part on here, I decided I may as well get it glued down really, really nice to the top portion of the treasure chest top, like I guess you could call it the rooftop. 
Then I just close. It's like much, much, much thicker. So you have to like really, really press down. It's much thicker than the rest of the cardboard I've been using. The only other part that was like this thick was the base. The base is like very thin. Like where you're putting all your stuff. But the top I use like thinner cardboards, cardboard pieces. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these off. So hard to cut this. So guys, I'm just gonna keep cutting and I am going to come back and show you guys some more. Stay tuned and keep following. 